Hey guys, Ethan Zelps covers more back today with a brand new collection video. This may be my biggest one I've ever done. This is going to be my Ronald Acuna Jr. full collection. Now I only collect autos and uh, rookies for the most part, um, but I do have a lot to get through. I posted a, a poll on the community tab asking which player you guys would most likely want to see, uh, Trout or Acuna, or there was also a both option, and the both option won, so I will be doing a Trout one a little later on in a few weeks. But my Acuna collection, um, it's, it's it's gotten pretty big, um, but after the video, I just want you guys to comment what your favorite one was. Um, if you have one that you didn't see that I don't have, uh, let me know. I'm always looking to add to it. But Acuna, he's just the beast of a talent, really like him. And I've really started focusing and collecting him since Ben and Tendi got traded. So, like I said, I only do rookies and autos for the most part. There'll be a couple other little stuff in here. But I'm going to try to keep it as quick as I can. But it is going to be a little longer video. So hopefully you guys will stay with us and enjoy it. Uh, the, all the autos will be at the end. So if you're just looking for that, you can go ahead and skip to the end. But I do have a lot of big rookie parallels that you probably do not want to miss. So let's go ahead and get started with the... The ones up here on the showcase. Now, I do not collect graded cards, but I just got this in today, and I cannot pass this up. A PSA 10, um, I got a very good deal on it, um, but that one will just be one I probably hold on to for a few months. Um, it's a PSA 10, like I said, I got a good deal. I don't collect graded, but I had to uh, scoop that one up. And then the middle one there is my only Acuna Triple Thread Auto, I believe. It's numbered out of 18. And then the one on the left is my only Acuna Relic. I got that one, one, because Hank Aaron's on it. It's got a little bat piece of him. That's just an iconic card right there. And it's uh, number, hand-numbered out of 71. I love the um, hand-numbered relics by Heritage. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. Um, the first two here are not rookies or autos, but the reason I have these in my collection is because I actually pulled these. So the first one is an Acuna Rookie Cup All-Star Game Refractor from Chrome Update, numbered out of 250. Next up, we've got an Acuna's Vintage Stock Rookie Cup. So I pulled both of those. That's the reason I still have those. Anything I pull, I usually like to hold on to if it's a PC piece. And I could use those two in the PC. All right, coming up next, here comes all the rookies and prospect cards. So hopefully you guys enjoy them. Excited to finally share a little bit of this with you. And it's this, this is my full collection. I've never done one of these for a player, I don't believe. All right, so first up, we've got one, two, three, four. I got 12 um, update rookies. Now, I don't usually collect doubles, but if it's a, a big rookie card like this or Topps Chrome, I'll probably have a few of those. So we don't have to show every one of them. So that'll help the time go by a little quick. Um, next up is an, uh, this is the All-Star Game Stamp Rookie. Um, it's from Series 2. I think it came in the complete set, maybe? Or, I don't really know for sure, but if you guys know, let me know. Really cool card, though, with the stamp on there. Next up is a big one I just got in a few weeks ago. This is an Acuna Vintage Stock Rookie Debut. Awesome logo there. This is numbered out of 99. Some of the cases you see today, they might be a little scratched up, but most of the cards are in pretty good shape. Next up, we have um, five of first Bowman Chromes. I think five, yeah. No, six. We got six of those. So that's just a really good card there is first Bowman Chrome. Can't have enough of those. And then one uh, parallel I have of that one is this first Bowman Purple. Um, just a really cool paper card here, and it's numbered out of 250. So, very nice one there that I like. One of my favorites, probably. Next up is some um, Bowman. So, we've got a Bowman Purple numbered out of 250. This is his prospect card from 2018 Bowman Prospect uh, Mojo. We got the Bowman Chrome Purple numbered out of 250. We got the Bowman Chrome Refractor numbered out of 499. And then we have the Bowman Chrome uh, just base. Next up are some Topps Chrome. I love these. Got um let's see how many of these I got. I got four of these right now, just the base. Love that card. Well, I guess I got a five. Um, then here's the parallels. These are really cool. This is the Prism 
rookie. We've got the um, sepia. And then also got the pink. That's probably my favorite out of the parallels, the pink. Next up is one of my big ones here. This is a Chrome Update Rookie Refractor. I paid $40 for this card uh, about a year and a half ago. And that now it's one of the biggest cards I have in my Acuna collection. Numbered out of 250. We all know how hard these are to hit out of the Chrome Update, the refractors. And then this is his actual rookie here. So that's one of my definitely top 10 favorites that I have. And then I've got a couple of the... Got a few of the base also. Next up, we've got the Bowman's Best Rookie. Then I've got the Bowman Best Refractor. Nice shine to that one. Coming up next, we got a few gold label. I got the Class 1 Base. Class 1 Black uh, version. And then I got one Class 3. I think that might be a Black Parallel could just be the base, but that's the hardest one to get. Class three got a tops fire gold mint rookie. I need the base one of that, I guess. Um, heritage rookie, and then I really like this heritage purple chrome rookie. Next up is some high tech. We've got a these are two just different parallels. I'm not sure how rare they are. This one might be a little rarer than this one. But cool high tech parallels. There's like 20 different parallels you can get out of that. Uh, you'll see an autograph version of this coming up later. Love that card. Just the colors on it just pop out. Beautiful neophyte sensations. Bowman best. Here's a Bowman defining moments from 2017. So that's a early card there of him. Next up is a Mojo Rookie. I'd like to get a color one of these, like a blue or green or something. We've got the Bat Down. I'll just show you. I don't have the Bat Down yet, but got the fake Bat Down. The Holly. <laughs> Holly. The uh, Holiday Rookie. This is the Topps Living. Just picked it up at the card show recently. This is a Topps Throwback Thursday Rookie that was exclusive, I think, on the website. Next up, I got the Gallery Base and the Wood. And then the Legends in the Making. I like these. I got the little rainbow of this, the base, the blue, and the black. So the black's the hardest one to get beside the numbered parallels. We got the 1983. The Bowman High Tech. This is the blue parallel here. Of this rookie insert got the archives coming attraction I think that's from archives Allen and Ginter and then this is the Allen and Ginter hot box the glossy um, foil then I got the Allen and Ginter mini rookie base I like the minis next up we got the Bowman Chrome I got a couple of these what is this? Archives? Yep. And then I've got a Bowman Platinum Blue numbered out of 150. So that's 2018 Prospect from Bowman Platinum. All right. One more little stack of parallel rookies and stuff, and then we'll move on to the autos. We're doing pretty good on time. We got a Pro Debut here. Just got this one in today. Next up are some just inserts from like Bowman Chrome. That looked very nice. Baseball America, Bowman Trending, and then the Top 100, number two. I forgot who one was in that set. Maybe Tatis or Soto. Next up are some 2017 Bowman Draft cards of him. I got the Base, uh, the Bowman Chrome Refractor, and the Bowman Chrome Purple Refractor. This is numbered out of 250. Next up, I got the Bowman Best from 2018 Prospect. And then here comes, all these coming up are the Panini ones. I really love these. They started to take off in value, a lot of the different versions. So we got the Optic Base, the Optic Purple, and the Optic uh, Red and Yellow Rated Rookie. 
Next up is the Revolution rookie. Got the Status rookie. I love all the different versions. All these were from Chronicles, and you guys know it's one of my favorite brands. Uh, Select rookie. Just the regular Classics rookie. The Prism rookie. Then all these coming up are a little higher end. Well, let me go. Let me show these two first. I like that one. They're illusions, I think. And then the studio. Then here's the numbered stuff for the most part. This is the rookies and stars uh, foil numbered out of 199. Got the uh, limited foil numbered out of 199. I like that card. Then the Phoenix, and then the Phoenix Orange Rookie. And this one is numbered out of 199. Love the colors on that, the orange. All right, that's all of the rookies and parallels. Next up are the autographs. I think I've got like 22 autos. So we'll go, the way I have these organized are non-numbered to numbered. So starting off, the first ones will not be numbered. Then it'll get down to some lower numbered ones. But the first one here is probably my biggest Sakuna card in my collection. It's the 2018 Topps Chrome Rookie Auto. And it's still sealed by Topps. So that's a really, really nice one right there. That might be the centerpiece of the collection there. Next up, we've got the Bowman Best from 2017. So Prospect there. I like that one. Next up is the Allen and Ginter from 2019 on card. Most of them will be on card. There's a few sticker in here. We've got a Bowman High Tech Purple Auto numbered out of 150. That is from 2018. Next is Tier 1 numbered out of 125 from 2019 on card. This next one coming up is probably, I mean, it's hard to narrow it down, but this one might be my favorite auto I have. I mean, told you you see it later. This is the Bowman Best Neophyte Sensation Rookie Auto, numbered out of 99. Just a beautiful card with the colors. Really like that one. It's a sticker, though, but nice card. Next up is the, um, what is that? The Brooklyn Collection, numbered out of 75 on card. Like this one too. Oh, another rookie auto, gold label, numbered out of 75 gold framed. Love the gold frames. And he signed it on the rookie logo. I like that. Nice auto there. Next up is the high tech. This is a cool insert. I've got the Ortiz auto of this one. This is numbered out of 70. It pops really good, like the fireworks in the background. Next up, this is a big one here. I forgot a hat, honestly. Picked this up at a card show one time I went to. A guy pulled it and sewed it to me. Numbered out of 70, Red Ink Rookie Cup. The red inks are super tough to get in Heritage. That's just a cool looking card there. Next up is a Go 1984, I believe. This one is numbered out of 50 on card. Up oh, 1984. Next, we've got a... One of the few Relic Autos I think I have. This is Immaculate Patch. Dual Patch Jersey On Card Auto. That's from 2019. Numbered out of 49. Next up is a Definitive Gold Framed. Numbered out of 30 from 2019. Then we have a Sealed Flawless Auto. Numbered out of 25. So that's still sealed by Flawless. And then this is a pretty nice one from Transcendent, the gold frame. Love the gold frames. That's numbered out of 25. Really cool one there. From 2019 Transcendent, I believe, not the rookie. And then we've got a Tier 1 Bronze Ink. Auto's a little light on the camera, but it looks good in person. It's the Bronze Ink, numbered out of 25. Then we got an inscription one here. Really like this. First MLB home run. He inscribed what date he hit it. 
And this is from Leaf Trinity, number three out of 25. Not a big Leaf guy, but um, it was inscribed like this. So that was pretty cool that he wrote all that on there. Uh, we got our top three coming up, number-wise. So third is the five-star green, numbered out of 15 on card. Really like that. Next up is a Stadium Club Rainbow Foil. That's a cool-looking picture there. And that one is going to be numbered out of 10. What is that, 5 out of 10, I think? But this card right here was actually graded, and I cracked it out because it was graded like a 7. Um, and I don't collect graded anyway, so I've, I have cracked out a few cards before. Especially if it's low graded like that, just to put it in the mat case. I think it looks better like that. And then my last one, I just got it in on a mail day. You guys probably saw it if you watched the mail day. Eight out of eight, button, auto, and this is actually a rookie, 2018. That is just awesome right there. I had been wanting a button auto of him a long time and finally got it in right there. So that's going to wrap it up. That went by a lot quicker than I thought, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I tried to get a cool little setup here, and hopefully you guys uh, thought it was a cool video. But just flood the comments, please, with what your favorite card was. Um, next up will be Trout, but also let me know if you saw anything that I didn't have that you have rookie-wise or auto-wise. Please shoot me an email. Always looking to pick up some more Acuna cards. I like to get ever different parallel rookies or anything like that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. That was really fun to make. I don't know how many cards we went through, but we did it in under 20 minutes, and that was my go. So Hopefully you guys all enjoyed. Please let me know what your favorite card was, and like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.